like this. This is cute. And I got a little part that you can put the cards in. This is cute. The workout was a breeze. Oh, I put, I, well, I did a little half up, half down. Yeah, the workout was a breeze. Not a breeze. I'm saying the time went past very fast. And this is removing all of that dead skin. It's a lot of dead fish over there. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday. We're back home, back to reality, but that's okay. Cause later on this week, we'll be heading out again. Me and Cleveland's deuces, <laughs> we out of here. But I'm about to head over to the office and pack up some orders. I get everything that I need shipped to this address because you know it's an apartment building and I don't want to just sitting out there you know in front of the apartment door so I get everything shipped here. So that's what we're doing now loading up stuff. So yeah we headed over to pack. I'm drinking on some chlorophyll water. Do y'all drink chlorophyll water? I drink it off and on. I buy the chlorophyll from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But let me share with you guys what the benefits of drinking chlorophyll water. So the benefits is it suppresses appetite. It suppresses your appetite. It aids in weight loss, decreases spikes in insulin, which lessens cravings, help with skin healing, helps in detoxifying the blood, reduces the risk of cancer or risk for cancer, increases energy, and helps in boosting the immune system. So yeah, I've been, like I said, using the using chlorophyll on and off for a good year now um it's green i got mint flavor this time usually i got the unflavored but it still tastes like a freaking plant which i don't mind i don't like earthly earthy taste you see what i'm saying because i like beets so you, said you don't like earthy taste you mean i do you? i said i don't uh -huh. oh i do yeah, I'll pick you guys back up later after we go over here and get this stuff situated. Yeah, look at this cute little card I got from Ikea. It's so cute. So we just transferring all of the, um, the oils and stuff. So we can roll it on over so we don't have to walk back and forth. Right, so Cleveland just made up all of these boxes and the bigger priority boxes here. He got to make more. We have more over there. He went out and grabbed us something to eat. Hey y'all, so I washed my hair earlier. And now I'm about to throw some twists in them. Let me get the hair. This is the hair that I always use. If y'all remember, the last time I put twists in my hair, I had to take them out because it was making my scalp really itchy. And that was the Free Tris um, Cuban Twist. And I normally don't get that. I don't know why I got that. I honestly don't even know why I got that. But this is the hair that I swear by this brand here expression and this is the expressions twisted up springy afro twist in 16 inches i got it off of amazon y'all have seen me use this hair so many times so many times so i'm doing the rubber band method this is what it looked like so far i know what's in that what's, what's going on with this you see how i just have so much hair out of my locks it's a whole bunch of hair out of my locks up in here I'm putting two locks in one ponytail I really don't care if the parts are straight or not I'm just gonna put this I'm just using some aloe vera gel that I got from Target so yeah we got home yesterday and we really enjoyed ourselves the resort we stayed in it was okay I wouldn't stay there again and let me tell you why first of all the rooms were or the house was a little dated it kind of smelled like mildew in there I'm gonna be looking at this mirror a lot because I can see better out of this mirror than I can 
out of the uh, camera. The grounds was nice and clean. The pool was clean, but the water was warm. I mean, really warm. So that was kind of a turn off for me. I mean, I still enjoyed myself in the pool when we went. We only got in there once because of that. You know, I didn't want the pool to be freezing cold. It was a good 95 degrees on the days we were there. So a nice cool pool would have been perfect. The beach, that water was really warm as well. It was okay. What else? Um, not the sunset. The sunset was beautiful. Beautiful spot for the sunset. The tiki bar. Mm. The drinks were a little expensive. I did get a pina colada and it wasn't that good at all. We went to Theater of the Seas. Had a good time there with the dolphin. That was pretty cool. Would I do it again? Probably not. I do one day want to swim with a dolphin. Not swim with a dolphin. Probably wave with a dolphin because you know your girl can't swim. So I would like to get in the water with a dolphin. But it would have to be like in the Bahamas or Jamaica or something like that where the waters are nice and blue. We went to Robbie's and ate at that restaurant where it was full of flies. Um, we probably won't eat there again. And the reason it's like that is because the part where you can feed the fish, the tarpon, where they jump up, um, is right next to the restaurant. So a lot of dead fish over there that's what you're feeding the tarpon you buy a um, bucket of dead fish and it's right next to the restaurant so yeah we probably won't eat there again like I said the food was good we didn't go over and feed the fish nobody really cared to do that again my uh, camera light battery must have died well I guess this is good enough lighting what was I saying uh oh you don't belong you don't belong here not with this one you don't used to but I did get a lot of orders packed up my goal for today was to get a hundred orders out and I made that goal I didn't vlog us packing because I mean it's the same old same old y'all seen me pack before when I put the rubber band on I don't make it tight because I am gonna crochet the hair in my MCM Crocs will be here on Wednesday they would have been here sooner if I would have paid extra for um, like next day or two day shipping. I knew we were going to be gone, so wasn't no point. Well, I kind of could have, should have. That was a perfect collab for me. Love Crocs, love MCM. I got plenty of purses to go with them. Here, let me let my battery charge and this light on my camera charge. All right, y'all, I'm done. I was supposed to come back on here when I got like down to my last couple so I can show y'all how I do it. A lot of people may not have seen it the first time I did it. So I'm sorry I was sitting up here watching YouTube videos, catching up on some vlogs and I completely forgot. I need to dip them. I'm not gonna dip them tonight though cause I don't, I'm about to go to bed. It is 10 o'clock or I don't wanna go with my hair wet or damp. So I'll do that in the morning. I think they came out really cute. Let me show y'all the back. This is what the back looks like. As you can see, it blends right in. You really can't tell what my locks is. Well, kind of, because it's kind of, you know, bulky on some parts. But still cute. Like I said, I probably will wear them up or wear them back, something like that, because it's, it's hot. Wear them back and we're up in a bun. I may decide to put on some contacts. Um, I don't know about that one though. <laughs> But um, yeah, and I did grease my scalp with my rosemary mint oil. This stuff smells so good. The rosemary and mint together, oh, smells so good. And I always grease my edges with my hair oil. Cause you know, your girl is 40 and um, I want my edges as long as possible. You know, my edges are not the thickest, but you know, just doing a little preventative maintenance on my edges. So I definitely make sure I put my oil on my edges and then I just go in the rest and you see I've been using it, look. <laughs> Scalp feels so good and refreshed because of the peppermint. 
And probably the rosemary too. Gives you just a little bit of tingly feeling. And that tingly feeling makes me feel like my hair is uh, growing. <laughs> but I'm gonna pick y'all back up tomorrow. I'm gonna show y'all how to how I use my turmeric scrub and my rose glow oil. A lot of people have been asking me how I use it. Um, so I'm gonna do that in the morning because I don't feel like doing it tonight, honestly. Put this up in a ponytail and put a bonnet on. But someone did ask me um, if they can use the turmeric scrub as a mask. And you can. I, When you put the turmeric scrub on your face and you leave it on, you can leave it on for about 5-10 minutes. That's a mask. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely use it as a mask. Um, I have started using the turmeric butter on my toes here. Remember I showed y'all, I'm not about to reposition this camera, but remember I told y'all that the um, the sandals was rubbing up against my toe, the slides was rubbing up against my toes and they left a dark mark on my big toe. So I'm gonna take some of this um, turmeric butter and rub it in to lighten it up. At one point in time, I was using this turmeric butter like under my eyes because they start started to get um, like I started to get like dark circles around my eyes, and I started using it. I'm good now. I don't need to. I don't need to use it right now, but it's good. This turmeric butter is really good for like um, acne scars and hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. Um, anywhere on your body. If you want to lighten up your underarms, your knees, your elbows, you know, you can rub this on there. You can use a turmeric scrub on that. I put lemon oil in my turmeric scrub, the rose glow oil, this butter, and I put it in my face wash because y'all Google it. Lemon oil definitely helps to, um, brighten, lighten up your skin, not bleach. But to lighten up, you know, dark marks, acne scars, hyperpigmentation. I'm not stating that my products are some miracle healer or some miracle products. No. If you do your research on turmeric and lemon oil, you, you will see what I'm talking about. And the thing is, just like with any other product, you have to continuously use it. Like nothing's gonna happen overnight you have to continuously use it I did just get this one <clears throat> dang it wasn't an email was it no she put a message in her um she placed an order and then she put a message but she was telling me how much she loved the rose glow oil and it did wonders on her face <clears throat> What you hate? Oh no, I was eating on some Doritos and the Dorito hit the back of that throat. A little piece of it hit the back of that throat. I was eating on me. Hey y'all, I told y'all I would pick y'all back up in the morning. Got my turmeric scrub here. And then I have my rose glow oil. It has real organic roses. It has rose hip oil. I got a little bit of tea tree oil. It's not enough to be overpowering or to, um, I mean, as far as the smell because tea tree oil stank but I did put a little bit in there to help with um, acne. I got jojoba oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil and I feel like I'm missing one. Avocado oil. I was trying not to look at the ingredients. I'm trying to get off the top of my head. So another thing that I use which is my face wash which goes super quick on my website. It is currently sold out. It will be back in stock. I want to say the end of this month or beginning of August. It may be sooner but if you're interested in any of my products and it's out of stock you can sign up to be notified when it comes back in stock. So therefore you won't miss out when the item comes back in stock. So this is my turmeric face wash and it does have lemon oil in it and turmeric. So what I'm gonna do is wet my face and I usually do this in the shower so the steam can open up my pores. Oh, let me take my glasses off. So I just do this. And I just put a little bit of um, the turmeric, uh-oh. That's what it looks like. 
and I just do like this. As you can see, it lathers up really good. Let me add a little bit more water though. It lathers up really good. And you can use this on like a spin brush or whatever you use to apply or whatever you use to wash your face. I just like to use my fingers. Let me hurry up because this battery is about to die. I thought I charged y'all up last night. Like these batteries be. Okay, let me just wash it off. Like I said, I like to do this in the shower. Turmeric scrub. Now I don't use this every day and I wouldn't suggest that you use it every day. If you do have acne scars or problems with your skin, I would use it at least three times a week, but I use it maybe like two, maybe one to two times a week to be honest. It just all depends on, you know, your skin. Everybody's skin is different. And this is removing all of that dead skin that top layer of skin off scrubbing it off and like i said you can use this as a mask it's not going to stain your face you can let this sit for a couple minutes like that let it sit for a couple minutes and then like i said for the purposes of this video i'm about to wash it off wash it off It's gonna leave your face feeling so moisturized and it's just gonna renew it's gonna bring out all the new cells the new skin that was up under all of that uh the old skin old cells all of these products has organic lemon oil in it it's going to help reduce pores if you have like huge noticeable pores it's going to help shrink them shrink them down so i'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and the current moisturizer that i'm using is the fenty skin this is my third bottle of the fenty um moisturizer i just put one little pump and then i um rub it in my face y'all feels so smooth it's so smooth and i make sure i get around around my eyes and after I apply my moisturizer, I always, always go in with an oil. It keeps my face moisturized all day. And my Rose Glow Oil is going to seal in the moisture, just like with your hair. When you moisturize your hair, you follow up with an oil to seal in that moisture. And I use a lot of benefiting uh, oils. You can Google each and every oil. Just take it and dap, 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 and that sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't because sometimes it'd be messy and all runny. Most of the time I just do this a couple drops. This is probably about to be too much. I'm about to be looking like a grease ball. But in there you just rub it in. These oils are going to actually penetrate and soak into your skin, not just sit on top of your skin. Even though it soaks into your skin, it's still going to give you that glow throughout the whole day. All right, let me put my glasses back on because I'm tired of not being able to see what's going on. Oh, let me show y'all this bonnet though. Y'all see this bonnet? Yeah. <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. Yeah, this is perfect for like braids, locks twist whatever your hair just falls down into this part so it won't be all bunched up in the bonnet and i need to put some eyebrows on i do but yeah i need to get a microbladed or something again because i'm tired of doing this and i'm tired of them looking bald maybe i should start putting some castor oil on my uh eyebrows yeah y'all this is all i do I need them threaded and everything. Oh, when the last time I got my eyebrows threaded? I don't even know. I, none this year. And what, we in July? I know I haven't got them none, done none this year. I sometimes go in with a little razor and kind of clean them up a little bit. But that's about it. I need to get my life together. <laughs> I need a good old self-care. I really do. I consider myself care shopping, but hey, that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Speaking of shopping, I want to go to 
um, the mall today because I think I need a new MCM bag to go with my MCM Crocs that's going to be here in a couple days. I, I, I think I do. And plus I have to spend that $75. <laughs> it don't expire until December. But I think I need a new MCM bag. I think I do. What y'all think? What y'all think? An eyebrow pencil that I'm using that I love. I've been using this same eyebrow, not the same one, but the same brand for years is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Soft Black. I got it off of Amazon. I'll probably keep my hair in this ponytail today. I don't feel like putting it up in the bun. And of course, I have to do my edges. I'm going to use the Mayel Edge Gel. I usually just go in and swoop some of the gel up and then just do like this and then i go in with my um brush then i'm gonna just go in and swoop i am one of those people that has to have edges <laughs> or baby hairs adult hairs whatever you want to call them i am one of those people i just love the way they make a hairstyle look Change your plans slightly. I told y'all that I was about to start uh, straightening up my office and I need to wash my sheets and straighten up my room. Well, I'm about to run to this gym with Cleveland real quick and I ain't have time to do that before then because when Cleveland is ready to go to the gym, he ready to go to the gym or I'm going to get left. You know, play about the gym. <laughs> when he ready to go, he ready to go. So um, I'm about to run up here with him real quick. Not the gym, the fitness center. I'm about to run up here real quick with him got my shoes and this is what I got on that's a special Mickey shirt some um, red viper shorts I am going to come back and try on the body suits for y'all because like I said I think I look real cute in them I need to grab an energy drink first I always get C4 um, try this peach mango nectar they two for five so I might as well grab one more I'm gonna have to have clean oh no he gonna walk I thought that was the last one, but it's one way back there. Look at the butterfly. Isn't he pretty? He blending in with the flowers. Land again. He ain't gonna land on your finger. Why? Because it's dirty. All right, got my workout on. I did go live. Well, who am I calling? Or why am I calling Yana? <laughs> I did not mean to. She probably, let's see if she answered. She probably at work. I'll just text her and tell her I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to call her. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I just came home, kind of showered, got a good workout. This her texting me like, why are you calling me? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Like, come on, face ID? I hate when the face ID don't work. I didn't. Yeah, just came home, got in the shower, changed into this, this, this cute crash bandicoot. If you know, you know. A good old PlayStation, PlayStation 2. This was actually my sister's favorite game. And then I got on these, um, like, jeggings. That I got from most likely TJ Maxx as well. But I'm about to switch, pur switch purses. I'm going to wear my Burberry's today. And I'm going to switch into my MCM bag. I could keep this. I don't know. I'm feeling a little MCM-ish. <laughs> so I'm going to switch bags. But I did go live earlier. And I think I'm going to do that every time. Not every time. Um, but I think I'm going to do it a lot. Quite often. When I get on the treadmill, because before I knew it, I was at 45 minutes. Now I told you, like 46 minutes, I was only gonna do 30. And the next thing I know, I looked up, I was at 46. The workout was a breeze. Oh, I put, I, oh, I did a little half up, half down. Yeah, the workout was a breeze. Not a breeze. I'm saying the time went past very fast. So thank y'all, all the ones who came in and joined my live. Y'all helped me out a lot. Um, yeah, so we about to head out and hit up this mall. Hopefully it don't rain. It's definitely giving thunderstorms right now. Naya, you going with us? Oh, I thought that was Naya coming down. I thought I just heard her voice. 
Oh. I was messing with Chanel. Oh, it's probably you. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about to um, change purse real quick. It's a couple of Bloomingdale receipts right here. My wallet. I, I like to wear my card holder when I'm carrying this bag because it's a lot smaller than this. But I don't feel like going upstairs to get it, so we're going to stuff it in there. And then I got my hand sanitizer. Some lip balm. Receipts that I don't need. Receipts. Receipts. My keys. And that's it. So that's all that's going in here. Hopefully my camera can fit in here with Cute. They did come out with a couple of um, bucket bags. This is kind of cute, but I wouldn't buy that. And then they got this stuff here. Backpacks. It's cute. Oop. I like that. That would go because that's on the front of the shoe. Huh? That would go because it's on the front of the shoe. Babe, I got this bag. I'm carrying it right now. Oh. Is that the same one that I was just opening? It looks a little different, right? Let me see. That ain't the same bag. No. Yeah, it's a little different. Mm, I got enough of these, like... That's all stuff together? Yeah, but you can um, carry it in different ways, though. You can unhook this and just carry this little thing here. You can take this off if you wanted to. And then you can just carry this by itself. It's cute, but I don't want that either. What about that? Uh, yeah. I got that. <laughs> Maybe I should get that. Let's see if she got it. I have a brand new one. Okay. I like this bag too a little bit. I kind of like that you want one. That one. Yeah. Let's see this one. This one. Oh, uh, this one right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They hold this. It's a gorgeous bag. Yeah, yes. this is pretty. It's Very. gorgeous, yes. But Ooh, let me tell chain. you, huh? for each hundred and twenty-five, you get twenty-five dollars in reward card. Okay. So you're gonna get some money, so you can buy something else. Yeah. And I got some I rewards see. to spend oh, too. Okay. So you know that's <laughs> yeah. good. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. Yes. Oh, this is oh, cute. Oh, you got a little baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's not MCM. That's Coach, the oh, little charm. Is, oh, yeah. Cute. I know you got one of the MCMs. I like this. This is cute. And I got a little part that you can put the cards in. This is cute. Yeah, <laughs> I love MCM. And go ahead and put your phone number so okay. we can access the point. Okay. Put on the you got $225 in, gift, in that reward card. Yay! Okay? <laughs> so I'll be back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift that keeps on giving. Right. <laughs> What's the price on this necklace right here? You I know? like that. That is, I think, eighteen or $19,000. Oh. Okay. I knew it was going to be a couple of friends. 19000 out. How many, oh, what, what diamonds is in that? How that is, is 18 karat solid gold. And, oh, that's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it has, I think, above like three or four carats diamonds on Three carats probably. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. And the, uh, the bracelet. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
That's so pretty. Yeah, we just looking. We yeah. Gotta... <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I might have could have been at 1800 that's a custom jewelry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Especially nowadays, mm -hmm. those prices are all gone. Yeah. So who is Roberto Coin feeling like? But it was so pretty. All his pieces was real pretty. But I'm about to head to um, Neiman Marcus just to peek my head in there a little bit. And then I'm going to leave them all because I really don't need to go in any other stores. They ain't cute to me. I know Especially for the amount. I think it's what, a thousand? Eleven fifty. Yeah. I mean, to each his own. I mean, but geez, I just don't, I don't some, like them. Be some thigh power for you. But they, um, I seen, I think on Neiman's, Neiman Marcus website, they had those in the mint color on sale for like four sixty. I like these. I got the black ones and I love them. Even Deja be wearing them because they're so comfortable. I wish they had the red and the green still in stock. Oh, I seen that they had these on sale online. They um, marked them down to four sixty five. Mm, I like the style, but I don't like that green. It's like grass or something. These. Oh, I remember I picked these up. Oh my goodness, these weigh a ton. I picked these up when we were in Vegas when, when me and my sister was in Neiman Marcus. And mark them down to four, I mean, three forty-three. They was five hundred dollars. These mugs, oh my goodness, I, I, I can't. Some off-white. I like this color. See, this gonna cut into my toe. See how sharp that is? That's definitely gonna cut into my toe. These are kind of cute. This big bow. It's kind of cute. I like these, but the thing with these, they're um cloth, white cloth. I still get dirty, but I like these. How much are these? Three thirty. These on sale for two seventeen. Mm, I would buy these, but I know they don't have them in my size. These are cute. I'm gonna see how they look on my feet. Oh, these are light. These don't seem like it's wide enough for my feet, though. This is very soft. So it wouldn't cut into my toes. I think I, did I, no, I don't think I tried these on before, but I wasn't willing to pay no $500 for no slides. These are kind of cute, kind of, the white ones, but they still kind of heavy. I like these, babe, you like these? Yeah, they got, that's pink or peach or something? No, it's red. That's peach. Oh, you talk about it's like yeah. tan. Yeah, it don't look peachy. Tan. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's tan. It's dark right. here. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Next time I want to splurge on a shoe, this this might be it. Look at these Bottegas. Bottega greens, pretty. These mugs, four twenty. Yeah, these. I just be walking right on past heels. <laughs> you know y'all be like, show us some heels. I just walk right on past some child. I seen a couple of people wearing those. I think I think they're cute. Oh wow. These are interesting. It's Versace. Dang, these five seventy five. These are cute. But I ain't paying no eleven hundred dollars for them. I like them though. Uh, Dior dad sandals. Eleven hundred. Pretty color. Mm -hmm. I like this. And you got the bigger one. It's pink token. Let's see what they got in this little thing here. Oh, that's cute. That one. I like this one. All right, I just bought a bag. I ain't come to get two now. About to eat at one of our favorite restaurants, Bar Taco, over here in Dr. So with this restaurant, it's a little different. You have to order on your phone on the website. 
and that's how you order and pay for it. Have you guys dined with us before? Yes. Okay, so you're familiar with how to order and everything? Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. We doing that same bill thing or what? Okay, so always get the same thing. Tacos, the Baja fish tacos. I'm going to get two of those. I always get the street corn and the plantains. That's it. That's all I get. Mm -hmm. Alright, I want to go try it on. It's so cute. Look at the puffy sleeves. I'm going to try it on. This is a size large. They don't have an extra large. They only have a medium. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's go try it on. I uh, like this. I got so many Whitney Houston shirts. Not so many. That's a little exaggeration. I got three different Whitney Houston shirts and uh, or tees and i got like three or four Aaliyah tees but i like this one i like this i think i'm gonna get it it's um 9.99 and then i got these shorts here they look a little big i'm gonna try these on as well that goes with that i didn't know because this is more cream yeah this is cream so i would probably wear some blue jeans or you know jean shorts or pants with these but um, i like these i like how flowy they are and they look comfortable the material is real soft these are pretty these lavender shorts i think it's a size 13. that's what the um hanger says i don't think i oh, it just says large I don't know. I can, I can go try it on though. See how it looks. Another reason why I don't like trying on clothes or don't like the fitting room, besides me just being lazy, y'all know I rarely wear socks. And it's like I have to put my bare feet on this floor. But anyway, um, yeah. This is the large. It's, it's too tight. They're too tight definitely gonna be doing this all day that's going to annoy the heck out of me this is cute i'm getting this and it got pockets this is cute and it's not too long look at her let me show my husband <coughs> bye look at this it's cute, ain't it? yeah. that's real pretty mm -hmm. and it got pockets oh yeah yeah Hey, this is cute. So you've been missing out. <laughs> he said I've been missing out. <laughs> oh, this shirt is so cute. It's so cute, but it's just too short. It's so freaking cute. Why couldn't it be longer? I love the little puffy sleeves. It's so cute. Y'all see my tan? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Should I get it? And I will wear this with these pants any uh high-rise jeans check out this these discounts like i've never been in this store like i see them around and i definitely see them on gina channel if you watch gina janine she's always in a dd's discount always talk about dd's discount that's like a couple of doors or not a couple of doors now but tj maxx right there so. thank you Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see if I can find some shorts in here or some cute shirts. Okay, let me look for my size. <laughs> we need to get over to the 14s. <laughs> Not no size three. Where they do that at? <laughs> Where they do that at? Oh, that's jean shorts. What? I'm blind. Size 15. See, some of this stuff, like these brands, be running really small. I even bought this popcorn. From TJ Maxx, that junk's stale. Yeah, I mean, beyond, like. 
said it tastes like styrofoam. Go right back in here and um, return it. Back home, I'm gonna do a little haul real quick. Cause I got, I got a lot of stuff to do. I gotta edit, get this video up for y'all. Plan on waking up tomorrow at five o'clock, working out, and then I'm gonna head over to the office and pack all y'all orders. Let me hurry up, cause my battery is blinking. I got a sponsorship video to do before I leave. I have to edit this video. I tried to go to Trader Joe's, they was closed. So we just stopped in Whole Foods and I got a couple of things. But anyway, I got this from Dee Dee's Discount. It's just like this purple, t-shirt with a little cherry on it and i got this shirt it's kind of like the other one tomorrow we're going to do a little try on haul of this stuff because i gotta see what i'm gonna pack and what's gonna go with what then i got these these are so cute i hope i can fit them they're size 15 they stretch these were on clearance for 8.49 the shirt was $3.99 and disrespectful battery cut off me at sentence. This was $8.99 and then I got these. These look pretty small. Probably get these to Naya. It has pockets and these were $6.99. Like I was telling y'all, their workout gear, well their prices all around is a lot cheaper than TJ Maxx and Marco Marshalls. These is, are also a size large because they didn't have that many biker shorts and the extra large these were only $4.99 the material feels kind of funny so I don't know it feels kind of scratchy to be honest and it has pockets I always look for pockets in my biker shorts it's like a must for me and then I got these shorts here I don't know if these gonna do me right but like I said tomorrow I would try everything on I did get the white dress I just had to I even went over there to see if they had other colors they didn't I love this dress the brand of the dress is by Chelsea and Theodore Chelsea and Theodore dresses it retails for $68 it was $29.99 and I got it in a size large moving on I did get this top I just had to I, I just couldn't leave it there the brand is by Kendo and Kylie um, I got it in a size large and this was $12.99 and this is all the Cleveland stuff I can show y'all what Cleveland picked up he picked up some black jeans or jean shorts some black shorts got some that's what I want some white shorts oh where's my um oh hold on move Cleveland stuff out of the way real quick I got this tennis skirt well, it's not a tennis skirt. Well, it is a tennis skirt, kind of. I got it over there in the... Why do it go dark like that? Like, come on. Um, I got it over there in the athletic part where I got the biker shorts. Oh, not where I got the biker shorts. I didn't get no biker shorts with TJ Maxx. But I got it over there in the athletic clothes. So, it looks like this in the front. And it's like pleated in the back. Or it looks like, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, tennis skirt. So I got it in a size large. It retails for $58, um, $16.99. I was going to get an extra large. I just naturally go for extra large. They had it in an extra large, but it um it looked way too big. So like I said, I'm going to try it on tomorrow. I don't have no... Oh, good. It got shorts built in. Oh, I hope this fits right. Okay, back to Cleveland. And he got these white nautical uh, like khaki shorts. And then he got a shirt. Look like just a blue, navy blue shirt. He got it in a size medium. He'd be uh, happy about his mediums, y'all. Uh, this was $9.99. That's all he got. And then I went on ahead and got the Whitney shirt. I got this shirt here. It's a Nike shirt. It's got raspberries on the front right here. It says Good Girls Steal. Um, it's a softball Nike shirt. Um, and then the back, somebody had just hung it on the end cap. It was hung up like this. And it just, I don't know, it just caught my attention. It's a raspberry club. I don't know, I think it's cute. This would be good to pair with the black uh, biker shorts. I picked up this cute purse. It's so freaking cute. MCM quality is just A1. The chain is beautiful. That's what really attracted me to this bag. Perfect size for me. 
how beautiful that is. And then an the inside, that, and then another zippered compartment. And then I did get the um, little keychain wallet. So I'm gonna put my keys on this. And let's see what the inside looks like. It's just like that. You know, reminds you of the Louis Vuitton. So that's all I picked up. I'm about to end this vlog here because like I said, I got I got stuff to do. So thank y'all for tuning in. And I appreciate y'all so 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 much. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Bye. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right.